My name is Roshan Patel, and I'm the director of the Kidney Stone Center at the University of California, Irvine. For someone to pass a kidney stone and experience relief from their kidney stone pain, the kidney stone must move from its current location and move down along the body through the urinary pathway exiting in the urine. The urinary pathway, or the urinary tract, is the path in which the urine travels and exits a person's body, involving the kidney and the ureter, which eventually connects down to the bladder. If the kidney stone does not get stuck or cause a blockage along the urinary tract, it will likely pass and exit it during urination. One of the main factors that determines the time it takes for a person to pass a kidney stone is the size of the stone. Generally, a smaller stone has a higher likelihood of passing through the urine faster than larger stones. Small stones are considered one to five millimeters, taking on average eight to 12 days to pass. Smaller stones are also more likely to pass and exit through the urinary tract. Large kidney stones are considered greater than five millimeters and can take on average of 22 days or longer to pass. Larger stones will have less of a chance of exiting the body, will take much longer than smaller stones to pass. Another main factor that determines the time it takes to pass a kidney stone is the location of the kidney stone. Kidney stones can be found in many places along the urinary tract, including the kidneys, the ureter, or the bladder. If the kidney stone is found in the part of the ureter, closer to the kidney, it will take the longest time to pass. On the other hand, if the stone is located in the middle of the ureter or down closer to the bladder, the stone will take less time to pass. Thank you for watching.